Breaking gay news, Kentucky is arresting trans people and trans allies right now. Literally, as they're being arrested, one lawmaker gave one of the most powerful speeches I've ever heard. First, you hated black people, then you hated Jews, now you're hating everybody. So the question is, when it's the only people left are you, will you hate yourself? Power concedes nothing. This house is for the people, by the people, to serve the people, and you won't listen. You go after everybody's kids but your own. You make hate the way to go as long as it's not applied to you. You have to ask yourself the question, why would they be doing that? Who are we to cause that? None of us said we would come here and hurt people, and yet you make trades and policy so your bills can be heard. You go against the people of this state. Genocide. A word people are shy to use because it's seen as such a big word. But I'm going to read to you the 10 points slash stages of genocide and ask you to compare it to how trans people are being treated at the moment. And you'll find the results worrying and a lot of these will, strangely enough, feel familiar. At the moment, the United States is creeping, creeping in at number eight and the UK is on number three but is soon on the rise up the list thanks to the UK's PM Sunak. Ten stages of genocide. One, classification. People are divided into us versus them. Two, symbolization. People are forced to identify themselves. Three, discrimination. People begin to face systematic discrimination hmm four dehumanization people equated with animals vermin or diseases five organization the government creates special groups to enforce the policies six polarization the government broadcasts propaganda to turn the populace against the group Hmm, mainstream media. Seven, preparation. Official action to remove slash relocate people begins. Eight, persecution. Beginning of murders, theft of property, trial, massacres. Nine, extermination. Wholesale elimination of the group. It is extermination and not murder because the people are not considered human. 10. Denial. The government denies that it has committed any crime. If people don't speak up now, albeit some are, including, interesting enough, Holocaust survivors, then in years to come the Western world is going down a dark path, reminiscent of Nazi Germany, because they, they went for the trans before they did the gays. And God knows if trans would ever be in existence ever again in future or snuffed out every time it surfaced. Now, America doesn't have to do nine or ten, as trans suicides will do that for them, and also the implementation of detransitioning and conversion therapy. The situation in America is getting so bad that families are fleeing to Canada. In the UK, the PM wants to jeopardise Gender Therapy and Recognition Act and prevent trans people from using public facilities that fit the gender they identify as. In short, the UK is in danger of following the same suit as America. I don't know what to say or to write when I was writing the prompt for this video. But it disgusts me that trans people are even being complained about, let alone victimised. Um, I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm sorry to upset some of you. It's just what I'm seeing is making me upset and very angry. 
but let me put this into your skulls. Transgender people have been around for hundreds of thousands of years. They have never been a problem to society, nor have they ever been or never have they ever been a problem, nor were they shunned in ancient times. For decades, they've used the bathrooms and have competed in sports without an issue. It's never been a problem. And it's never been an issue. Also interestingly is April Ashley, a famous female model who turned out to be trans, married into royalty. You telling me they didn't know? Again, a sign of acceptance. Trans people don't need a shrink. They've seen a shrink and have been medically and scientifically verified as valid. People who have this backward stigma towards trans people are the ones who need to see a shrink because there is no sound justifiable reason for anyone to hate the trans community. The transgender community just want to be themselves and be treated with the same respect as everyone else. They are not demanding much. The only reason we are hearing about them, or even hearing them, is because they are being victimised. If, if those people, if these people just left them alone, you, you and me would be none the wiser. You just see them as people, they would blend in, just like they did thousands of years ago. Our world claims to be anti-Nazi, yet this is Nazi behaviour. These actions are Nazi. It's the 21st century, it's the time society grew up. The leaders of the Western world need to step up and set an example and stand up to protect the trans community. Because trans rights are human rights. And it upsets me and other decent human beings seeing this barbaric behaviour occur. My grand my granddad, who was in the RF, fought against the Nazis, so we wouldn't have to grow up in a world with that ideology. How dare we com commemorate all those who died in the Second World War at the same time doing what the Third Reich did. It's an insult to those who fought and died to stop that kind of ide ideology. It upsets and disgusts me that it's happening in my lifetime, let alone in a time where we claim to be the most modern and advanced societies in the world. We need to speak up for them and to put an end to this because they they won't stop at they don't they they just won't stop with the, they won't stop with the trans community, and very much just like World World War Two proved that. It's really mind-blowingly stupid that this is a thing because, like I said, transgender has been around for decades and has never been a problem. Trans rights are human rights because they are beautiful people like you and me. And also there is beauty and diversity in diversity because nature is diversity. My name is Kai Shapley. I'm 12 years old and I shouldn't be here right now. I should be playing with my friends back home in Texas where I was born and raised, but my home is gone now. Mom sold everything that didn't fit in the car and drove to Connecticut because Texas isn't safe for kids like me. In 2023 alone, more than 435 anti-trans bills have been introduced across 44 states. These proposed laws attack trans people's access to essential, life-giving health care. The right to use the correct bathroom. To play youth sports. To enjoy full and vibrant lives, free from discrimination, from dystopian surveillance. From the vicious attempts by conservative lawmakers. To twist our humanity into a tool for re-election. Make no mistake, beautiful trans family. Your identity is not just valid. It is irreproachable. No one can erase who you are. No matter how hard 
They try. You are a gift to this world. You are the future of a people whose existence has exemplified liberation for generations. And so, terrifying as these times might be, Oh honey, we shall overcome. Because they have thrown everything they can at us. And we're still here. Our community is strongest when we stand together. That means not just speaking up when the right to marriage or to adopt or workplace equality is on the line. It means coming together to defend our most vulnerable and our most valuable members. Our youth. I know there's a lot of misunderstanding out there about you. We're here to say that enough is enough. Now is the time to raise our voices and say to my trans, non-binary, and gender non-conforming community, the hate ends here. You are extraordinary. You are inspiring. And you are exactly who you're meant to be. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I know that they act like we're the end of the world, but our capacity for transformation is a model for how to save it. Together, we're gonna beat those bills who we'll reach those misguided hearts and minds and open each other to a love that does not fear change. We will fight and we will win. I'll be with you every step of the way. Because you, because you, because you are the future.